evening guys okay so it's day 15 for a set of my uh, duck eggs and we're going to candle them and I'm going to let you watch the video tends to be a little long with the amount of eggs I've got but bear with me so you might be able to see some development and hopefully we don't have any uh, dead eggs but I'll show you uh, I'll show you if, what's wrong with them and why. So let's let's open this up. First of all, you don't want to have it open too long because you don't want the humidity to get out. But I'm going to open it up and put more water in it afterwards. And we want to keep them warm. 37.7. That is in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. That's a good temperature. So, we'll open up our incubator. If I open up the incubator with, without turning it off, it would beep off me, cause a lot of problems. I know it's kind of dark here. You see all my eggs. They're all not aligned, but I've got another incubator I'm going to transfer the ducklings to um, be just before they're going to be hatched. And they're dated. So, like these guys here. Let me see. There's no date on this one. So, but they are dated for the ones later. Check out how these this. So we got the white ones that are duck eggs. The chicken eggs are brown and off white. <clears throat> so, okay, so I'll show you. Now, I like showing off duck eggs and, and developing eggs. So we've got this one. You can see that there are, hopefully you can see the veins here. Ducks develop at 28 days, so we're in 15 days in. There we go. You can see the veins and everything and hopefully we'll see some movement. That black spot is duckling. And if you watch carefully, you'll see that egg, uh, the black spot move around. Do you see that? It moved. That's a baby. So that's a good egg. This one is dated 221, it, so, and, so we're not going to mess with it. This one. Has development going. You see the veins. It's a lot easier if you with a better camera. See the movement? Ducklings moving in there. In the vein, right there. This 
So that's a good egg. <clears throat> oh, good. All right, so this one also, you see through it, you see the veins. I'm going to turn it and hopefully we can see some movement. looking really good these so I don't know if if it's just sleeping and or what I want to keep it in the incubator and see what happens so we'll let this one little this little guy keep stay veins not seeing any signs of death in, in, in every, anything but I'm not seeing movement either Did you see that? There was a little kick there. That one's a good egg. Now this egg is really clean. Ducks are not a very clean animal. They lay their eggs in the worst places on the ground. So the eggs aren't always clean. You see the um, texture? This is my friend uh, Veronica's duck's egg. You can see the veins really good there. Let's see if this baby is moving in here. time to observe. Oh, did you see that move? That baby's moving. So we got another duckling. Okay, so we've got some interesting markings here. Some veins. Let me see if you could see the veins. The veins is hard to see. There you go. See the veining? You move up here to where the duckling is. And we see the black spot moving around. That's a living baby right there. Veronica's eggs from her duck. It's got some good veining in here. You see those lines through there? Those are veins. And we'll just watch to see if that baby moves.
this one might just be sleepy. Let's see if we move it around a bit. Make sure when you check in eggs and kenneling eggs, you don't shake them. Be very gentle. We'll just put this one back, but that one's good. Okay. No, veining's not very good here. Let's see if we have a baby that moves in it. The reason we don't put eggs back that are bad, that we know for sure are bad, oh, that one's moving, is because a bad egg can spoil the rest of the batch. That one's just put in yesterday. That one just put in yesterday. Uh, that one looks like one of the ones that put, was put in 15 days ago. Oh, that one was a move. If you looked at it carefully, that moved. Good veining. It's kind of dirty, so it might not be able to see any babies move here. Yeah, I see them moving. They're, they're in there. These are for my ducks. She doesn't lay her eggs in the best spots. not very good. So we'll see if we can find any movement. But the dirty egg is hard to tell. see some movement. And there it is. That's the baby. Okay. Dirty egg. Hard to tell, but if you watch, you'll see. If it's a still alive, you're not. These babies will be available um, in two weeks. I will probably keep some females. My friend Rana Sakusha says she's really good at telling the female ducklings from the oh that move from the male ducklings, and I am in need for females. I need five more females. Even up my males here. If you guys are in the market for ducklings, I've got them. Contact me. Um, I will not mail them. And then after I get enough females, I will mail fertile eggs for you to incubate. good. You see it's moving. See? The <laughs> that one's good. Uh, 
All right. And you can tell if the egg is fresh. You see this one has, it, it is not started developing yet. It's just a day along. So we're not going to see anything quite yet. Give it a week. I'm going to show you some other eggs here. So, see? This one is new. <coughs> and if you look at chicken eggs, this is a phantom egg. It's harder, even harder to tell. So, it's a chicken egg too. So, you know, just if that incubation for chickens is 21 days and incubation for ducks are 28 days so so far we have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen good um, ducks eggs that are going to be hatching hopefully in another 13 days so we'll turn put this top back on I love this incubator it's a very good incubator I'll turn it back on check the gauges see it's climbing 53% on humidity, which is in climbing, which is pretty good. It'll tell me if it's not good if I beep in. Temperature's going back up. It's day 15. And it rotates by itself. Very good incubator. It's one of those Chinese incubators. Let me show you. Oh my incubate my light died. Um it's yellow. We'll have to show it to you another time. But good incubator. So, um, like and share. If you liked this, hope you learned something. And if you like my uh, videos, you can also go on to Facebook. Look up Tigland. T-E-I-G-L-E-N. G-L-A-N-D. Family Hobby Farm on Facebook. Have a good day or good night. Bye.